Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today we are going to be making a glitter globe, which is like a snow globe, but with glitter. The basic things you'll need to make this are a plastic snow globe. Um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Some glue, and I'm using E6000 because it is a waterproof glue, and we are going to be gluing items and putting them underwater. We are going to need some glycerin, and you can find this in the soap aisle at a craft store. You'll, of course, need some water, and some glitter. You can use any color, any style glitter that you think is cute. Of course, the toy that you're gonna feature in your glitter globe, and today it's Lala Loopsie, and we got the Scoops ice cream set. But let me show you how these water globes work. The round part's where the actual water goes in. This is the base, so we're gonna glue everything directly onto the base here. You slip the base into the globe, and then you just tighten it all up with these screw-on bottoms. That's simple. So to get started, of course, we have to open up our toy, and let's see what exactly comes in this super awesome set. And this is the Scoop Serves Ice Cream set uh, Lala Loopsie Minis things so cool so we got an ice cream shop stand we have scoops and she's so adorable she's like mint chocolate chip ice cream mm, so good so it came with a little table and it is actually a cone like for ice cream cone and it looks like a like an oreo at the top to me sort of this huge, delicious looking pink ice cream cone with tons and tons of scoops of ice cream on it. Mmm, a delicious looking sundae. And this is Scoops' pet waffle cone. She's so cute. And a bucket of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mmm, that looks good. Kind of makes me want ice cream. And we also have Bee Spells A Lot. She's cute. An ice cream scooper. Hey, this thing's cute. Can use that to scoop out that mint chocolate chip ice cream. A chocolate bar that's bitten. And an ice cream sandwich. So the first thing we gotta do is kind of figure out what we want to put inside of our snow globe now the set came with tons of stuff but i really like scoop so i want to feature her in my snow globe i don't think i'm gonna use uh b spells a lot i'm gonna go with scoops on this one but i want her to kind of sit up high that's a little too high and she'll probably fall off and she has these little wiggly legs so she definitely needs to be sitting down because i can't get her to stand up and I know this is a tub of ice cream, but this is like the perfect height to have her kind of like sitting. Oh my gosh, we could have her like sitting with the table next to her like she's eating ice cream or something. I love that idea. So that's what we're going to go with. So you'll see back here, I have put the E6000 glue um, in my little con uh, little container back there. I find it's easier to lay the glue out and then kind of dip the items in the glue so that way you're not getting it on your fingers or anywhere else and it's not too messy this way. It's the easiest way that I found. So let's get everything glued on directly to the base of the glitter globe. Oh, and I tried to get her hand up on, up on top of the table, but it didn't work. So let's add some accessories. So we can put um, this ice cream cone in her hand. We can put the sundae on the table. We could put the ice cream sandwich in her hand, but I don't know if that's going to stay. So I think I'm just going to go with a delicious ice cream sundae on the table so it looks like she's eating it how freaking adorable is this i absolutely think this is the cutest setup um but i don't know what do you guys think should i have done something differently let me know in the comments below um but this is this is the best thing that i think i can do and let's take a look at this oh so adorable 
Now while the glue is still wet and while you can still move things around, go ahead and do a fit test. You always want to make sure that whatever setup you have on your base is actually going to fit inside the globe itself and it fits. So just set that aside and let it dry completely. It might take, you know, a couple of hours. And once it's dry, we're going to do the shake test. So just shake, 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 shake it real hard. You want to make sure that everything is on there and it's not going to fall off. And now it's time to fill everything up. I am using this chunky pink glitter and this very, very fine iridescent white glitter. Now, I am doing this over a bowl because I don't want to make a mess here, but you can always do fill the fill it like over the sink and you, you know, you won't make a mess there. So, I'm filling the bowl about you know, a quarter of the way with glycerin. I used about half the bottle, and then I'm just going to add my glitter to this. There's the pink and now here's the white. A little more white there. And you can just see the glycerin and, and the glitter just kind of hanging out there. And we're gonna add water all the way to the very top. Oh, I need a little bit more. Grab another jar. So water all the way to the top. Now grab the base that's already dry and we're gonna very slowly dip the base into the actual globe and some water is of course gonna spill out. Again, that's why I have it in the bowl here so I don't make a big mess everywhere. And push it down firmly but softly so that way all the water doesn't gush out and then you don't get um, air bubbles in there or anything like that. So just. Just press that base really hard so that way water doesn't fall out. And now we're gonna grab that screw on base right here and tighten that really hard just like that. And it's all done. Now you're gonna have to shake it really well to mix the glycerin and the water together. So mix it very well. And if you want to, you can stop here, but I wanna decorate the outside a little bit. Um, so I got this ribbon for $2.99. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And all I'm going to do is using a hot glue gun, I'm just going to outline the clear base part with this pretty pink ribbon. And, you know, I just think it adds a little something something to the glitter globe. But of course, this is completely optional. Um, you don't have to do this part but I thought it was cute and I picked light pink because I thought light pink um, went really well with scoops and her hair and her outfit and her ice cream. So that's what I went with. And then I'm just going to measure that out and hot glue down the other end and make sure that you don't burn yourself on this part. And if you need help, make sure you get your parents. And we'll just get this down like so I really like the idea of getting waffle cone in here since that is totally Scoops' like best friend pet. So I thought we could just kind of hot glue him to the outside right here. I thought that'd be kind of cute, right? So let's get, let's get waffle cone glued kind of, I like kind of to the side like that. I like that. That looks cute. So here's the finished product. And you can see some of that really fine white iridescent glitter kind of just suspended in the water. It looks really cool. I think it looks cool. And here it is. Let's do a 360 degree turn. And she is a bobblehead. And I, I mean, if you don't like the bobblehead action, you can glue down the head if you want to, but I chose not to. And, and I'm giving it a really good shake and it looks so neat. Let's try that again. So cute. I love it. Well, if there is a glitter globe that you want to see done, just let me know down in the comments below and I will see if I can get that made for you guys. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time.